sunshine Time to get what's mine, yeah And I want it all Beyond the riches of the world To the promises of God for my life So I'm saying goodbye To the thoughts inside my mind That make me waste my time and my Dai family and welcome to another Dr. Mumbi spiritual show. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. How are you doing? How's everything going? I really do pray that you are well in all your ways, family, and that you're moving into anchoring yourself into 5D reality, into the new earth. And what exactly do I mean by that? It's anchoring yourself into a new narrative, anchoring yourself into a new story of your life. A lot of you are not who you were six months ago. You're not who you were three years ago. You're not who you were five years ago. You are a totally new person. And it's time to learn who that new person is, family. Because the war and the fussing and the fighting is over. Like for real, for real family. And we are in a brand new dawn. But before I get into that, um, special shout out to The Journeyman who is sponsoring today's show. And we are in the season where you may require his assistance. He is one of the spiritual guides that is coming out at this time to you know, offer his services of walking with you along your spiritual journey. Because right now, family, we are in the season of recovery. But let's listen to Michael and we'll be right back. My name is Irving Michael Simmons. I'm 41 years old. Uh, I've lived in Texas pretty much my whole life. I've just been the kind of person that just loves to help people. I've, I've been that way since I was a kid. I just love helping people. But um, it's been more focused on this end of, of working spiritually with people, you know, just trying to help them on their life's journey. Work with uh, young men that were, you know, they were at the age, they were becoming young men, uh, men themselves, where they were getting ready to leave the home and looking for a stable family uh, structure. And they used me as a guideline, and I just coached and guided them. I would even speak to their mothers and fathers sometimes about, you know, what was going on. It's just been something that I just, I do. Welcome back, family, to Dr. Mumbi's spiritual show. If you want to be in touch with Michael, you know, his email is down below and you can reach out to him. You can also reach out to his Patreon and he will help you guide you along the journey because we've come into a space now, family, where the fussing and fighting is over. It may not feel like it because there's so much residue thoughts that are connected to the fussing and the fighting of our past with our friends, with our family members, with society, with, you know, the, the haters of truth, that it may just feel like it's business as usual and with the fight, you know, and we keep fighting on. But, okay, maybe what I would say is the fight has gone to a new dimension now where it's about us anchoring in versus the opposing forces who don't want us to anchor in. So it's no longer about fighting them, but it's about concentrating on anchoring into this new narrative, this new reality, this new frame of life, and doing everything necessary, family, to leave the narcissistic death culture that is very harmful to our mental psychological, emotional, and physical health behind. Literally, your enemies of yesterday are now phantoms in the sky, family.
we are in a new dimension, a more sophisticated dimension of thought. And the struggle many of us are having, especially those who watch my show, is that thing of yo-yoing where you can't maintain that high vibration of thought because it's like being happy 24-7. Yes, you can be happy all the time. And you will have those dips in energy, but you, you process, you flush it out, and you keep it moving. But a lot of us are finding, you know, how do we dip and come back authentically? Not faking it till we make it to, to some kind of happiness, but authentically shifting our minds and shifting our perspectives so that increasingly our life becomes about creation and not about destruction on any dimension, whether it's people trying to destroy us, people destroying this, that, that language is no longer going to be part of our vocabulary family. Africa's awakening is actually Africa's return to herself. And I know there's a lot that can be said about the name of Africa, but that's the name that everybody gets right now. We'll be switching that up, but It's time to recover yourself, family. It's time to restore yourself. It's time to do the necessary work to heal yourself. And to shift your perspective about what is really happening in your life. Acknowledge the ancestors in the wind. I don't know if you can hear it all around us, but we're honored that they're always here with us. So, wow. <laughs> we're so honored, family. We are in the season of restoration, of recovery, recovering all that was lost, recovering all that was taken, and mental recovery, because what this did is Babylon's world took us out of our minds. But now that we're in this new dimension, it's like we've come back into our minds, family. And so our number one responsibility right now is to heal what needs to be healed to work through the pain and release it because some of it is still attached to our bodies. So we have to flush it out. And the only way we do that is to mentally process it, spiritually heal it, and then it just leaves spiritually. And once it has left spiritually, psychologically, mentally, emotionally, it will depart physically. And how it has shown up many times physically is as a sickness, as a persistent ailment, as a so-called disease, which is literally a lack of ease. And that's what Babylon did. They put so much pressure and strain, family, on our entire ecosystem. And now it's about time to go about your healing, to go about your restoration. You can do it. It's time, family. And just a word of caution as you go out there. Allow spirit to lead you. Like I really hope by now that you have connected to your spiritual team in such a strong way that you hear their voice so clearly. That you have connected to the Most High in such a way that you hear their voice so, so accurately, family. Because that is the guide you're going to have to use now. You see, a lot of the people you may be seeking to help you restore yourself, restore certain things in you, they too are trying to come into balance. And so we have to be so spiritually sensitive to when it's time to connect with someone and when it's time to disconnect. And remember, we connect with love and we disconnect with love, family. No more fussing and fighting. That season is 
truly, truly, truly over. It's all about now restoring ourselves, recovering ourselves, coming into alignment with what has always been meant for us and truly writing the first chapter of our new book of life. Tukopamoja.